today we're making a pompano rig tying board. So we're going to start with a piece of 1x6 wood of your choice, 36 inches long. And I'm going to sand it down a little bit to make it smoother. got it smoothed out and now we're going to lay out the peg locations. So we have four pegs. So the first one goes three inches in and center which will be two and three quarters inches. And our next one going to be a half inch in from the top edge and it goes at 14 inches and then our next one goes at 20 inches also a half inch from the top and then our bottom one goes at 17 inches half inch up from the bottom. We have three hooks to put in. Those are all going to be centered. First one goes at nine inches. Second one goes at 25 inches. And the third one goes at 34 inches. centered on the board. Now we're going to drill a small hole for the hooks to make them easier to put in. The first hook points towards you, the second one's going to point away from you towards the top of the board, and then the third one's going to point towards the end of the board. glue so we're going to use super glue and see what happens. Hold it on there. Tap it in. And it's good enough. That's it, about 15 minutes, got yourself a tying board. Next we'll show you how to use it. Now we're going to show you how to make 
they drop our loops for pumping up fishing. So you start with an overhand loop, and that's going to be your your gauge to start with. You take the line, you go over the top of the triangle, around the bottom of the triangle, and then back over the top, back towards your spool. At the top, you're going to have the double line. You're going to take that double line, and I usually use 15 pound test for my pompano rigs. I'll wrap them seven to eight times together, like so. And then after seven loops, you'll have a loop in the middle. You pull the line off the bottom triangle and you go up through the middle of your loop and then you pull it together. It doesn't work well with grade, but with, with this paracord. We'll show you with, with mono. So start with your overhand loop. Run that down to your last hook. You go over the top, around the bottom, back over the top towards the spool. Wrap them together seven or eight times. It doesn't really matter. Don't get too crazy with it. You gotta moisten your knot, otherwise your line will break. They can use water, spit on it, whatever you want. There you go, you just keep doing that until you got a couple hundred knots. I'll show you how to storm. So, after you tie the, the mess of knots, then I take an empty leader line spool and I, I just wrap them up on there. And I usually throw this in my, my bucket for the beach and I'll usually have you know, about 20 rigs on here, so 60 knots. I'll sit there and count them all. That way I got plenty, plenty for the day. Just wrap them up on there, they don't get tangled up. Got the hooks on them. And I'll show you why we do this next. Get to the end, put the top piece on. And that's it. And you got a mess of dropper rigs. So keep our, our, our leaders on this spool all in one long length and I'll show you why. So if you get broken off or you gotta tie a new rig on, I'll just take it and I'll pull. I always use three hoops. So I'll pull three hoops off. I'll leave them hooked up to there. And I do that just in case while you're tying you get another bite and you can just drop this and not worry about littering on the beach or losing your rigs or whatever. So that's why we do it like that. And then you just tie them up real quick do a double uni knot. I don't use any swivels. You don't need swivels. Double uni knot there. Go down to my third hoop. I cut it off at the bottom. And then you can just put your, your sinker swivel on. I think they call these uh, duo locks. That's what we use for our sinkers. And uh, that's it. We'll go over the rigs next time.